Hello everyone, Hyper here, and in today's video I will be talking about gearing strategies for battle for the Tsar Olor. More specifically, how to make the best use of your bonus roll coins, and what bosses to really focus on, and what item slots you should focus on to make the most use and get the best benefit from those new items. In an expansion such as BFA, where we have Warforging, Titanforging, Random Sockets, it's very difficult to come up with a clear-cut gearing plan, but having a general idea and for a few of the slots having an idea of what bosses you should be focusing on, maybe what dungeons you should be focusing on, is always a good thing. And the first part of this video will be more general and then the second part I will talk more specifically about DK. So first of all, previously we always had to look uh, through the dungeon journal, look at the items that drop um, and just kind of make a plan based on that. Now, again, with time forging and all of this happening, there's only really a few slots where you can plan on what items you want to be equipping. Those are your Azerite items, so your head, shoulder, and chest, and your weapon. So these are really the slots that you really want to be focusing on the first week. So any bosses, for example, that drop a weapon and an Azerite item are typically going to be very, very high value and are more, more often than not worth bonus rolling on the first week. Now, if you manage your bonus rolls correctly, you should be going into Heroic Week with 7 bonus rolls, 5 in your bag, and then 2 available for pickup. So this gives you, basically by Mythic Week, 9 total bonus rolls. So you want to be able to split those up. I plan on using 2-3 to three bonus rolls on Heroic Week, depending on how lucky I get and how well I loot, you know, what weapons I get, what pieces I get. But the highest priority bosses that I will be coining are weapon bosses on the first week. Getting a weapon in my main hand slot is probably my top priority. My second priority is starting to get Azerite items. So after I, if I loot a weapon or I bonus roll a weapon, then I move over to focusing more on Azerite pieces. So again, with Azerite pieces, every single boss will drop a different piece. So you will get um, basically multiple chances for Azerite pieces in the raid, but even within those, there's some that are better than others. And to really figure this out, Raid Bots has implemented a great new uh, uh, feature that I actually checked out yesterday. Pull it up on screen here, and it's called the Drop Optimizer. So basically, you open the Drop Optimizer. It's just like any other of their features. You have to uh, slash SimC in game to get your character string. You paste it in here, and then what this will do is you select the raid, you select the difficulty that you will be doing. And what this does is it sims every single item that drops at a base level. And that's what you should be planning on. For the first few weeks, you shouldn't be planning on crazy titan forges. If they happen, they happen. What you should be planning on is upgrades at a base eye level. So once you paste your character string in here, you just run the drop optimizer. And then this will show you a full breakdown with priorities of what bosses you should be focusing on. So basically, um, like I said before, I will be focusing on a weapon and Azerite pieces. And then once I get those, then I will be focusing on off pieces such as bracers, legs, uh, boots, and everything else. Another thing that you might want to focus on, depending on your character, is trinkets. Now, trinkets have been kind of weaker and less impact this tier, or this expansion rather than previous expansions. But trinkets are still a pretty major DPS upgrade if they end up being slightly overtuned. And currently, for example, for strength users, um, or DK in particular, the Jaina trinket seems a little bit overtuned. Now, this might be either from it over simming, um, or they actually overtuned this slightly. So that again puts more priority on bonus rolling that boss compared to other bosses. Now, whenever you run this drop optimizer, there's one thing to keep in mind. It will recommend you uh, loot priority or boss priority based on all of the items on the loot table that are available to you. So it doesn't weigh an Azerite piece as more beneficial than, for example, a bracer or you know some boots. And the reason why Azerite pieces and weapons in particular are more beneficial is first of all, if you get an Azerite piece and a weapon early on, you can quickly, if you get new ones, um, you know, from later bosses, you're able to trade those to your teammates. And since raiding is a team game and a team effort, 
Having that option to trade Azerite pieces to teammates is always more beneficial than, you know, trading a cloak to them. So once the sim is done, uh, you can quickly see the items that will be the biggest upgrade. So as a Mythic Raider, most of my items are probably over 390 eye level. And if they're not over 390, then they most likely have a socket which increases their value. So most of the heroic regular items will not really be an upgrade for me. Or if they are, then it's only a slight upgrade. But as you can see here, Azerite pieces will have a high impact. Even heroic pieces are almost a 6% upgrade uh, for the higher ones for my character. So you can see that the chest from Champions of Light, is, for example, is a very good upgrade for me. The helm from Jade Fire Masters. Uh, the shoulders from Mechatoric. Um, and then if we look at Jaina, for example, we can see that the trinket uh, seems pretty nice, uh, but it's not really that impactful compared to the trinkets that I have right now. So heroic trinket, for me, maybe it's not really worth coining. And what this uh, feature does, it, it assigns a priority for either, you know, doing the boss if you haven't done it, or more importantly, bonus rolling. So if you have a limited amount of bonus rolls, uh, let's say you assign or you decide that you will have three bonus rolls this week, then you should be rolling, according to this feature, I should be rolling Champions of Light, Thormal Blockade, and Jade Fire Masters. So this is, again, keep in mind that they do assign um, these based on total upgrades and the value you get per boss rather than targeting specific items. So in my mind, I will always prioritize weapon bosses and Azerite bosses. But if we look at my first uh, few priority bosses here, none of them have weapons. My first priority boss that has a weapon is Conclave, and it's all the way to priority number four. Uh, so you can see how this feature is useful, but you have to know how to actually interpret the results of this feature. So what I did for my DK and my Rogue is come up with a best in slot list. And this um, is, again, I only did it for the Azerite pieces and weapons. I am not concerned about off pieces at all because you will have time forging, war forging, sockets, and so on. So with this, I simmed all of the items in the game that are available from Mythic Plus and from the raid and all their traits and then came up with a list of what items I should be aiming for. Because obviously not all classes will have their best items from the raid. So if I look at my Frost DK list, for example, all of, me, all of the items are from the raid. However, if I look over on my Rogue, then I can see that, for example, my chest piece is from Mythic Plus. And for AoE and a cleave set, uh, the raid doesn't even drop a good helm for me because the Mythic Plus helm is just so ahead of the raid one. So if you want access to the spreadsheet, just join my Discord and everything that I use is linked there. But you can see how you can use this feature to help you out to quickly be able to target and decide which bosses you should be bonus rolling in this new raid. Thank you so much for watching and if you'd like early access to all of my upcoming DK guides for the new raid, then make sure to check out my Patreon. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.